So, hey, my name is Earl Alex, aka Cav Ticket Prolific, and we're here at another Song Lab Live event, and I'm here with another special guest. And trust me, the artists that come through this door, I keep getting floored with because trust me, they working hard and they coming out showing their love and support. And this is a great collaborative experience even for me because I'm gonna toss it over to the other side of the table and let you, let, let him introduce himself and you need to get introduced to this man. I've heard his work, it's dope and he works hard and he's consistently grinding. So let me go ahead and throw it over to him and you gonna get to know him more, trust. What up, what up, what up? This is Smokey Dollar. You know what I'm saying? Coming from the south side of mm -hmm. Chicago, now in AZ. Just wanna say what up, man. You can catch me on uh, Instagram at uh, Smokey Dollar Ho, S-M-O-K-I-E, D-O-L-L-A, H-E-A-U-X. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of shit popping, man. A lot of shit popping. I appreciate the opportunity to come and talk, you feel me? Um, I just appreciate the experience, man. Thank you, and that's what we're trying to bring to the artists out here is just a good collaborative experience, kind of more akin to, you know what I'm saying, the roots of making music when they with their homies. Straight up. But at the same time, it's still all business. Right. So, so everything we doing here, we still going to try to try to get everybody right. We doing the split sheets and everything. Trust right. me, we going to get everybody info. So if you hop on a song, which we hoping you do, uh, we going to get you right and make sure we go through the proper channels. You just let us know what's necessary. Straight. That's what's up, man. And you know what? I appreciate that. That's a breath of fresh air, man, that y'all coming with something like this because, and that's the really the only reason that I, you know, agreed to do this because, you know, everybody asked me to do, you know, of course, whatever was going on, um, everybody was asking me for an interview and I, I kind of turned that shit down because I'm not mm -hmm. really, motherfuckers have boosted their numbers enough off me, you know what I'm saying, and off my name, you know what I'm saying, people that I don't even necessarily rock with, so people have come up off my name, but I'll, I was willing to tell my story and I wanted to do it on an outlet where I appreciate what y'all doing. You know what Thank I'm saying? I, I really rock with the artistry of it because at the end of the day, I'm an artist. I'm yeah. a big artist. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Before anything, it's about the art with you. Feel me? Shout out Bobby Denham. <laughs> dope, dope. And yeah, she was here too. She came my through girl, and rocked with us. Girl, she, and, and I said that because her and I linked in on the art of it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, we had some good conversations about that, and I, I'll always remember that and appreciate it. show for sure. Can I just get this mic a little bit more in front my of bad, you? My bad, my no, bad. no, you good. Okay. It was catching you. I just want to make sure it catch you right. I want to make sure it catch you good. So definitely speaking about that, I mean, I think, I don't know. I have a feeling like this year is kind of pivotal for Arizona hip hop oh my God. just as a whole. Like, man, I, I've been doing it here for three years now. Yeah. And this year, in particular not only if things start moving for me but i've seen things move for a lot of people here and eyes are on az right now you Definitely. know what i'm saying and and shout out to everybody that's from here that's really representing az you know i really came in on the tail end of that and i'm you know i'm always from chicago but i appreciate how az has embraced me you know what i'm saying so it's good to see that people are looking at y'all and it's not People are really looking at the artistry from here. So that's 100%. good. Oh, and yeah. and it seems like more than ever. So it, when I was doing my thing more, it was more like groups and clicks. And I was kind of like a lone ranger running around right. just trying to follow shows. So now it seems more like there is a a conversation happening, you know, amongst everybody. Yeah, we got a community now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a... And when I first started, you right. You know, I first started at like 19. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so I did the little, you know, I did the Lyricist Lounge, you know what I'm saying? Shout out oh, to nice. SDR. And uh, the, from the freestyle that I did there, people start calling me, you know what I'm saying? Oh. People start calling me for shows or whatever. And so when I started doing the shows, it wasn't really, you know, people was people was going outside, smoking, till mm -hmm. they people come on, then they'll walk off, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then they'll come in, rah-rah for they guy, and yeah. then they all leave. Yeah. And I wasn't really rocking with that, but yeah. now it's more of a community. We all know each other. We all on these, and and thank God for these podcasts because yeah. not only has social media brought us all together, but then these particular podcasts about hip hop and about you know what I'm saying the, the current events and things that's going on in real time. Yeah. We all there like yeah, what up? You know what I'm saying? So I I really like it. You know what I'm saying? I like how I've been included 
in it in it all you know what i'm saying yeah. the good and the bad you know what i'm saying so and i feel like all that comes with the game as we grow the thing is by being entertainers we put everything on show it's Period. all a part of Period. what it is like you're gonna see different sides of me you're gonna see me in my up days and my yeah. down days but all of that just means you have access and that's and that's what we oh giving y'all understand oh you're just right. getting exclusive well, access right you put yourself <laughs> on the platform to yeah. be critiqued and to be yeah. judged so you can't be like you know and that's what was my issue with a lot of people that i had issues with from here because when it was their turn to get cooked and mm -hmm. i'm laughing they get mad like why you laughing at me or like we can't be cool because i laugh and it's something funny you know what i'm saying yeah. and i'm like bro we artists, so when it was my turn to get cooked, you know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I let niggas cook me. You know what I'm saying? Some of that shit was funny. You feel yeah. me? Like, so we, as artists, man, we just got to have thick skin, man. We can't really take that shit personally. And that's what I want everybody to know. I didn't take none of that shit personally. You know what I'm saying? To the point where I had my people from the crib calling me, you know what I'm saying? Texting me like, bro, we got to mount up. I'm like, bro. Yeah. This ain't that. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? I I come from a strong gang banging background, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. And some of, although I've left that and I'm I'm living out, you know what I'm saying, quote unquote, the retirement years mm -hmm. of my life. I'm retirement, I'm retired from that life. The OG you know what years. I'm saying? Right, you feel me? So I'm really putting all my you know what I'm saying? When yeah. I say that, I don't mean like I'm old and shit. I just mean like nah, yeah. I put that behind me. So I'm living out here on some different shit. You feel yeah. me? And 100%. so you know i just i just want you know what i'm saying i just want people to know like man i i don't take none of that shit serious like on some street shit like i've got to tear niggas heads off or yeah. nothing like that it's all entertainment man it's all rap i'm here to be critiqued right. you know what i'm saying i took the lesson out of that l you know what i'm saying like it's things that i could have done differently that i'm going to do differently going forward you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying so i i'm glad that it happened for one i was able to get a true version of what I need to work on and the mm -hmm. things I need to critique, you know what I'm saying? The things I need to adjust or whatever as an artist. And then it let me know, okay, bro wasn't really fucking with you anyway. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And then my inbox is flooded. You feel me? Like I've, <laughs> I've done with, no with, live bro, with, no live book five shows wow. from that situation. Wow. You know what I'm so so actually even then going through that and for one, let me just commend you for how you handled it. Like appreciate 100%. you, man. I appreciate you. And if people don't know what we're talking about, he had a show. Right. He just he had a show. I had a show. He had a show. It and was, he went to the show. It was he bad. He did a show. It wasn't the best show. Right. It wasn't the best show. You know what I'm saying? Some I'm people, sorry. I don't know if artists have ever done that before. Right. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> people that were, were behind the show mm -hmm. were ops of mine, mm -hmm. known ops and they disguised the fact that this person was doing the show or well, i wouldn't have yeah. never been there you know what i'm saying i wouldn't have never been there but i was and it it all came to a head as i hit the stage in real time i handled it not the best way because i didn't i let i let the situation psych me out yeah. you know what i'm saying so i didn't put on the best performance however it was just that it wasn't the sensationalized version that you got yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was I I didn't get booed just for the record. If you look at the footage, you don't hear no booze. Yeah. You just hear people giving you see people giving me access. Yeah. I can live with that. But for him to sensationalize the issue, that's how you know that it's personal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He showed his hand. You feel me? So which is crazy. That's what we're talking <laughs> about, people. You know what yeah, I'm saying? We, we're talking about that situation. And what I've learned from that situation, I didn't whine and say oh they all out to get me i said what i said you know what i'm saying god made me be in facebook jail let me mm -hmm. say that god made me be in facebook jail for that that whole weekend you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. i was on a 48 hour facebook and it was it was some bullshit because i was in facebook jail because i told my guy hood shout out to hood i told him <laughs> he hit me about it you know what i'm saying he hit me about the situation i'm like bro i'm gonna hit you uh, i said bro i'm gonna hit you they got me for uh, some bullying yep, shit. Yep. you feel me so it instead of me threats right you yeah, know what yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah. they was like it was a bit against community standards woo, woo, woo. but even then it was also over your birthday 
It was over, and it was my birthday. Yeah. It was my birthday, the day yeah. of my birthday, my actual birthday, which yep. was the day after the show. Yep. Okay, so I'm in Facebook jail. I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't post. I can't do nothing. Now, any other time, like when I, this happened to me in Miami, yeah. I was in my, in, in 20, I was in Miami and I got put in Facebook jail on my birthday. I was tripping. You feel me? <laughs> I couldn't stunt. I couldn't do none of that shit. Man. So that was that. This time, it wasn't like that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. This time, I was like, okay, God did that because I would have been going back and forth with these niggas. You feel me? Yeah. I would have been on some on some kamikaze shit. You feel yeah. me? Talking out of my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Because I know that niggas really, really tried to do me. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, so yeah. I would have felt you know, determined to show that. So God was like, sit down. You know what I'm saying? Up. Think about that. Be patient. You feel me? Right. Be patient. <laughs> so I had time, you know what I'm saying, to think about it, reevaluate, think about what I could have done differently. And then it came out. That's why you got my post, my video post. Yeah. That was me being after thought, you know what I'm saying, after the OGs had hit me, you know what I'm saying, like, bro, we don't need to be on that, this and that, you know what I'm saying? And after that i felt better and that's why i presented it like i did you know what i'm saying i handled it and then i that's it you know what i'm saying so if if all the you know what I'm saying the podcast they like come on the show but what mm -hmm. fam i don't need to talk about it no more you know what i'm What's saying up? this ain't that you feel mm -hmm. me your y'all intentions was not to try to boost your numbers and i know oh, no, yeah not at and, all. and, and, and y'all <laughs> was like man just come fuck with us anyway For and real? then while we here you know what i'm saying we're gonna talk about it cool you know what i'm saying and I appreciate that, man. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate everybody that was involved. You know what I'm saying? Even the haters. You know what I'm saying? Even the motherfuckers <laughs> that tried to do me. Hey, they got a place too. Right. For yeah. real. You know what I'm saying? They got a place in the story also. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I couldn't have asked for a better outcome if I had one. You <laughs> For real. That, but see, that's the problem is, and that, I've done this a lot in my life, is I, I'll take a loss or a mistake or something that that you know that i didn't quite do at the standard at which i wanted to do it uh, and i hold that against me and i won't understand or see the true blessing in it yeah it's either a reflection of what i need to do and you showed me the answer you you see the problem right. really isn't a problem because if it's a problem you're actually showing me the solution oh, for real you're giving the solution me is, is there right yeah there, right. yeah how else would i have seen it if not for the problem right right so it's either that or it's just a learning experience that I can use to add to the next one to become better. So whatever it is, it's only adding. Real. You know, Iraq told me he meant to, he'd be mentoring. Me. So he told me I never lose. And, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I get that. You know, you kind of hear that in a cocky sense. But nah, he explained that to right. me multiple times. Nah, listen, see, even, even when, when this I happened, lose, I win. Yes. Like, I Feel never me? lose. Even when I lose, I win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's, 100%. That's, that's wisdom. Feel yeah, me? that's wisdom, and I and I'm I'm glad that I'm where I am in life. Period. You know what I'm saying see. I'm happy. I feel like Plies. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm ha Leave me alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I you know I got some big things that's coming. You know what I'm saying? Like even before this, can you shout out a few things? Can you drop some exclusives? Any well. <laughs> I'll it can say be this. current and it yeah. can be future. I, I can say this. I can say this. I, I did a song called Right Back. And um, I had a buddy that's shooting a movie now. He's a director. Um, and so he asked me to, to do the song. I did it. And he was like, you know, just audition, you know. Send me the song, you know, and it's gonna go with the other songs, and we're gonna see, you know, whether it's gonna go on the soundtrack right, or yeah, whether yeah. it's gonna go in the movie. Blah blah blah. I sh I made the song, and bro was like, he called me. I was in the gym. He called me like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he really, really liked the song. Yeah. And so he got the next week. He got picked. The movie got picked up by Sony. So he pitched the song to the Sony guy. The Sony guy called me and was like yo we want to put this in the on the soundtrack and we want to put it in the actual and movie and we want to give you a 50 50 split deal you know what i'm saying on all the streaming blah 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 everything 
and you know what I'm saying for two years, then it's then it's yours fully. I'm like, what? Oh, honey, yeah, yeah. Oh, so honey. that shit just happened, fam. Like in like a, a six month period. But my point is, so he's like, okay, so are you shooting a video for it or whatever? I'm like, yeah, you know, I mean, it's in it was in line for the videos that I was gonna shoot. He okay. was like, well, no, put a pause on that. We'll give you a budget. Oh, you know what I'm saying to shoot, blah blah blah, this and that. And I'm like. Yo, so it was just a blessing, you know what I mean? So I'm just saying all that to say, man, I don't use my artistry to stun or to shit on niggas because we all trying to, you know what I'm saying? We all trying to fortify our brand. Correct. You know what I'm saying? We're all trying to monetize our brand. So I'm not looking at you like I'm doing better. Bro, that just came from my determination and you know what i'm saying for me and it could be you too you know what yeah. i'm saying so i'm just saying all that to say like they said all of that and i got things on the table fam i got like shit on a six-figure deal <laughs> type shit on the table yeah. and i didn't bark back with that you know what i'm saying i could be like man I, ooh, i'm not on that man i'm humble because i feel blessed i don't every time i write a song man i'll be like man what are you gonna give me next? You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm still that humble in it, in it all. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's coming at a fast rate now, and I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to navigate and juggle. You feel me? And I see, I was just talking to another artist, and we, you know, it was kind of off of the air, but I told him, you know, Lady Luck comes to those who seek her. So yeah. if you work it, it just looks like luck to everyone else. Yeah. You consistent with the grind. Grind will, the grind will get yeah. back. I say that in the line. Feel like it's overnight. It's been a marathon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Outside, <laughs> on the, outside steady putting on like a stop sign. You feel me? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> For real, man. Like you you know, it's 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 all about what you put into it, man. And you know, like the things that I got popping, man, that that's not even past that like shit that's coming up. You feel me? That that's that I've gotten because, you know what I'm saying, my label saw me do this and go through this. And this motherfucker, my, my representative at the label, L Empire, was like, yo, I got something for you. You know what I'm saying? I like the way you handled that. I got something for you. You know, I got a question for you. What would you say to those who are scared of labels? How has your experience been? And what would you say to those who are afraid of labels? Man. And do you think that it has helped you along the way? Because okay. I, I see a lot of artists' stigmas yeah. against orchestrated bodies yeah. governing or oh, managing God. their works. So how do you feel about that? I feel about, I've turned down, let me, let me say this. I've turned down, before the Empire deal, I turned down eight major labels. And that was because a, a recording deal is a loan. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a glorified loan. The, the the jargon and the vernacular in the in the contract is the same as a loan because they're giving you a certain amount of money, and in return you have to make them that money back before you can have any of your own money. And no artist has ever recouped in the history of the music business wow. no artist has ever recouped you know what i'm saying so that being said it's, it's about margin wow. you know what i mean it's about the marginal what are you going to do you know what i'm saying do you want to just owe forever have money but owe yeah. forever or do you just want to be independent and get what you get but you don't at a smaller amount but you don't owe anybody so i went into it being an independent because i was a different type of circumstance where I've always had money to invest in myself and that's not a normal case no yeah you know 100%. and so because because the starving I was, artists is the normal case right right <laughs> and so because I wasn't that then labels really didn't once we had the meeting they was like oh no nah, we good yeah okay. you know what I'm saying because he doesn't need us yeah Less you know manipulation. I was trying to come with a slash deal. You know, that's when it would say like Columbia slash 
Two uh-huh. smoking barrels, you know. Yeah. I was trying to come with a slash deal, and they was like, nah, because I didn't have the background. Although I had the financial backing, I didn't have the background where they could see it would be beneficial. And I got uh-huh. that, you know what I'm saying? So that's why. But then that's business to business relationship. Right, right. Yeah, okay. So I was like, so I was turning down the recording deals, mm-hmm. looking for an independent deal. I wasn't turning down independent deals. So, you know, time went past, and then I wasn't looking for a deal for a long time. And then once I got into the situation that I'm in now, somebody approached me and was like, man, what do you think about this? Someone from another record label that okay. has a, a plug with Empire was like, what do you think about this? Can I walk you in? Blah, blah, blah. So that's how that went. And I took that deal because it's a 90-10 deal. I ain't supposed to say that word. <laughs> It's a 90 10 deal. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And that's like unheard of. Most people that go over there do 80 20. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, but yeah. I did, I, I negotiated better. You know what I'm nice. saying? So I did a 90 10. And, and for those who don't know, we will be getting into the education of types of deals, what they are. Right. How, we'll, we'll be getting into that. We're actually planning other other events that'll be getting more into the terminology and talk of these things. So. And I would love to be a part of that. Oh, yes. I would love we to would love to have you there, yeah, honestly. I would love to be a part of that. Yeah. So you and and this is the thing, man. You cannot look at. I didn't look at it and say, you know, because I was I was doing the same thing with Sony. Oh, nice. You know, but Sony's didn't look as good as the Empire did. I didn't say everybody signed an Empire. <laughs> let me do that. Yeah. I didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying to people out there that might be, you know, what I'm saying looking to that. It it was good for me, but it might not be the best for you. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. When they say that, you have to be independent. They they not they don't care. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. They don't they don't care. They just like they want the ROI. Yeah, they like when you're done with your videos, when you're done with your marketing runs, you know what I'm Let saying? You have to provide all of that. And yeah. we're gonna give you ninety percent or eighty percent, you know what I'm saying? Like so you have to think about that when, when people say, I wanna remain independent, do you? <laughs> yeah. Because you're gonna be coming out of your pocket you know what i'm saying and this shit is like bro if you don't love this shit don't do it like 100%. just get a job fam like yeah for real just There's many just, other things just to get do. A, just, right you could own a business you could you know what i'm saying you could buy a studio mm-hmm. you feel me if you just want to be around music you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm about to do a studio you feel me nice because you know and that's just know. what i want to do right you yeah. know what i'm saying we'll do a song lab pull up too oh we'll God. pull up and you oh know God, right show it out and trust, trust. Man, let I us know that fam but that's because i'm not gonna i'm not just about to be rapping yeah you know what i'm saying all my life i know but i know that i always want to be around music so i'm about to build this out here and then if it's if it bumps i'm finna i'm trying to be like the first franchise studio oh, like nice. mcdonald's you know what I'm saying? but <laughs> you get this type of studio everywhere you know yeah. what I'm saying? this certain type of studio everywhere you feel me so hey i already got that shit patent so cool out <laughs> <laughs> you me? Cool out. i see your wheels turning <laughs> you me? So, um, but ours you know, is burning right so. that's, that's what i'm on you mean i mean you know, that's how i'm going to monetize yeah without being an old nigga rapper oh, yeah. feel me? So. and i think that's what it is finding out ways to monetize for one your relationships and the things you actually want to do in life you know what i mean like artists sometimes are tunnel focused on just the music which is good we want them there to give us good music but also there's other things you can be doing and in this community like just in your in your specific economy reach right you can be doing a lot more so so think about that and incorporate that and like he's saying there if you don't have to just do music right and you mentor somebody fam. yeah there's mentor, so much so many kids we out need here a lot yeah that, that's not into sports you know that's not you know and i'm trying to do that's another you know philopantric thing that i'm trying to do yeah you know it's it's a lot of kids that you know don't want to play basketball don't want to play football and don't want to play soccer and that's cool you know they want we need to teach them how to be videographers how to be engineers you know how to be you know studio owners you know and how to how to monetize on the uh, show them the other side you know songwriting you know what i'm saying where the money is you know what i mean just songwriters and bro bro that's fine they make a lot more money than a lot of artists honestly (laughs) 
I've made more money. Let's just say this. <laughs> with, with, with clauses and, and things like that. Let's just say this. I've made more money from writing than I ever have from doing shows or, you know, streams or any of that. You know what I'm saying? Those checks come bulk. <laughs> you feel me? Nice. <laughs> they don't come pieced out. They come bulk. The coolest you thing is you quarterly. don't have to even do all the work. Oh, baby. You can just be <laughs> credited. Yeah. As long as you get that placement. Well, I mean, like, even that, the song does what it does. Yeah. You don't got to do the work. At you're not, you're yeah. not the one out there performing it. You don't it. have to do no full you're work. Not the, yeah, you, didn't make the, you don't have to make the music video. The artist does Bro. all the work. Bro. I'm just saying songwriting is actually all kind of dope. All you have to dope. do is the reference track. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> Send that reference track off. And that's, like, so... That's how you support your artistry. So if right. you really want to be an artist, be about your business because then you can be an artist. And you can do what you want to do, fam. You, you can you can it. record. Look, bro, I am blessed to be able to go to the studio when I want to. Wow. I don't have to say, and and that's not because I'm better than anybody. That's not because, you know, I got a silver spoon in my mouth or nothing like that. That's because it was set up like that. You know what I mean? This is, It wasn't always like that. Most of the time, it, it just got like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's from me being, bro, I'm about to work this job and then go do some street shit after mm -hmm. that. You know, this is me. You know, even before I got here, this is this is my work ethic. You know what I'm saying? This is based on work ethic. So that you need to be doing this shit all the time. That's what my mentor, and it wasn't even a mentor on the rap shit. It was a mentor on the street shit. Uh, he told me, if you're going to be selling drugs, you need to be always selling drugs even when you sleep. Mm -hmm. Feel me? I took <laughs> that to this. Yeah. I'm always rapping. That's that Kobe mentality. You feel That's me? I'm always Jordan rapping when I'm in huh? the shower. Nigga, when I'm yep. fucking, mm -hmm. I'm rapping. You feel me? <laughs> on God. You yep. know what I'm saying? So, you... And you get these bars. On baby. <laughs> and, and because... It's so many of us doing this shit yeah. on a high level. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like the NBA now, fam. It is. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so many niggas doing it on a on a high level. Yeah. Not I ain't even talking about the trash niggas. Real motherfuckers that's doing it on a high level. You know what I'm saying? And then factor in the fact that it don't even matter if you can rap. It doesn't yeah. even matter. So people getting in. <laughs> that's a sliver. Blessed. Yeah, that's, that's a, a part. sliver of it. <laughs> you feel me? Like, bro, and you got to realize that. You know wow. what I'm saying? And when I see these people on, on LA leakers, you know what I'm saying? Spit. Uh, Murder. Uh, 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 bro, Murdering. that's not going to transfer over to song. It, it may. I'm not hating. Yeah. It may, but it probably won't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got people like Black Thought. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the greatest rappers ever, ever, ever. My but, favorite. you know what I'm saying? He don't have no albums. He don't have no no hits. You know what I'm saying? That's what matters, fam. Well, he don't have no modern. He has some stuff back in the day. Oh, more, with, more with the roots. Right. But but he, yeah, it is. a lot of people saying, overlook though. him. Yeah, and, and, and there are more battle rappers that have failed as Period. artists. Period. And there are artists. And, and like... And there aren't really artists who transition just all the time in a battle rap. That it doesn't. People doesn't have been trying to like trying to bait me into that, fam. I'm not on yeah. that at all. I make songs, fam. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like with that push your luck shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They they baited me. They woo woo this nigga. He, you know what I'm saying? He don't I'm really not rap. Lie. The city was rah rah. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? But I shut niggas the fuck up because yeah. I made a real song that has replay value. Yeah. Where that man called me. That man called me and said, bro, yeah, I made you rap. And I said, you <laughs> did, sir. Nice. You did, sir. You feel me? Yeah. So it 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 was a good thing. That was another good thing that happened for my career. You feel yeah. me? Like, these niggas was trying to cook me. You know what I'm saying? But when I made that song and, and they played it, they said, run it back. Then they said, this got replay value. This has real bars. You know what I'm saying? This has substance. Yeah. This is not just like... Somebody just saying my name, which he did. I cooked. You feel me? Don't fucking play with me. You, feel me? <laughs> you went in there and did the yeah, masterpiece. Yeah, don't play with me, man. Play with your mammy limb. Don't you play with me? me. 
You feel hey. me? So. And and that's what I like. You are honest. You let them know. You tell it. You tell it as it is. Honestly, you came like on my radar, and I just seen how you moved and everything you was doing. I was I like, look, that, man, man, he's solid. The honey. And I listen to your music. I'm like, I fuck with that. That's a hundred. That. You know, that, um, yeah. I'm mad that I didn't get to get to know you sooner and what you were right. doing in the movement. Like you said, you've been out here eight years, yeah. and like. For me, I guess that's the start when I started backing out of things. Like, because right. I've been around for a minute too. But trust me, there's a lot of people like that. I'm just seeing that even it, he, like, I wasn't doing any deli every day when he came with his right. Like, I was like, but I was on the side. So right. I didn't catch much of what he was doing in the game. So coming back in, seeing how everybody's Shout growing and deli, maturing man. and Shout doing their thing. Deli. Yeah, I real did talk. A, my first show, man. My first show I did, you know what I'm saying? Deli walked up to me after that. He's like, he leaned in. He was like, "I believe you." You feel Dang. me? That was everything Dang. to me, fam. That was everything to me. Feel me? Like on and God. Daily support for real. On and God. He, he said, just, "I believe you." Yeah, he's just a real ass. You know what I'm like, saying? That's, like, and that's what I like connecting with. That's the the thing that I see uh, about the people the people who I just I get this feeling like they're just gonna be in for the long haul. Is the people who are like genuine yeah, genuine fam you know like really the, trying to connect trying to do good business yeah, yeah and, and in the art of it like, we are artists fam. yeah and, we are, and people don't know you know what i'm saying people be like man I'm, a, I'm an artist you know what i'm saying like bro i am an artist like yeah i've been doing this shit for over a decade you know what i'm saying Since i was a child you feel me yeah. so that's why i'm i'm so passionate about it you know what I'm saying? And that's why I I take it personally when when motherfuckers say shit like, you know what I'm saying, he's trash or whatever. Not that you can't have your opinion, but yeah. bro. You're still talking you, about You it. can't say it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Point it out, fam. Point you it out when tell, I'm trash. Hey, hey you're gonna have to turn that hate into constructive oh, criticism God, real no. quick. Oh, <laughs> real God. quick. Right, you know what I'm saying? Because when people say, you know, he coulda he could have did, you know what I'm saying? He could have did another song first cool yeah and all that is true you know what i'm saying and that's what i took from it but you can't say the song that I, I did first ain't trash nigga. yeah you feel me you feel me on oh, god so that's why that's when i get geek because i know what i put into this shit. you know what i'm saying yeah my girl know like you know what i'm saying this nigga is outside writing you know what i'm saying <laughs> she knows i got my space i'm doing that man because it was so many times i couldn't do that yeah. You know what I'm saying? With so many times I had to like, you know what I'm saying, work an extra job, nigga. I'm when I first got here, bless, you know what I'm saying? I ain't know bless. nobody, you feel me? Like, I, you know, I didn't I didn't get plugged in right away, you know what I'm saying? So I'm working two jobs. I'm working the, I'm doing the shit at like they did it on set it off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Working the motherfucking uh offices and shit at night, you feel yeah. me? I ain't saying to say that shit. I was doing that for my studio money. You it's feel all, me? Like nigga, all. I'm scrubbing toilets. You know what I'm saying? Washing windows. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Changing, changing garbage cans. You know what I'm saying? You know what you I do. did that. You feel yeah. me? I did that for two years to build up. You know what I'm saying? So I can have studio time and do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm saying that to say, man, when you see, you know what I'm saying, the jewelry and shit, and you know what I'm saying, this and that, nigga, I'm not, I'm not coming like I'm different from nobody, fam. I grind. Yeah. You feel me? Like I was in a life and I was able to get out of that with some of my money. You feel yeah. me? Like I didn't, when I I didn't go to jail. You know what I'm saying? I had a uh -huh. great lawyer. You feel me? I was supposed to be doing seven to ten years for you know what I'm saying possession with intent to distribute. You feel me? But I'm here, so there's a reason that I'm here. So that's Lessons. why I go Lessons. so hard, fam. That's why I'm always in the studio because I'm not supposed to be here. Honey, you feel me? So that that's where my passion comes from, man. And I'm not, I don't glorify that shit or be like, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a street nigga. I don't. I hope nobody don't have to go through that. Hundred, you feel me? I and and because I did, I want motherfuckers to see me and be like, man, that nigga did that. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That nigga did that independently. He, you know what I'm saying? He didn't ask for no favors. You know what I'm saying? Not saying the motherfuckers have not given me favors. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Because they have. They people have looked out for me, especially here. And I never, I never like downplay that. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man. They know I would be doing it anyway. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'd that's be when the doing favors it come. Right. That, but that's why the favors come. That's why, that's why, I, oh, oh, that's all you need? Right. For real, for real. Fam. Let, let, like, let, yeah, for real. We like, see you already going, yeah. to, oh, that's all it yeah, is. Yeah, I'm going to do it People anyway. don't understand. 
You get blessings when you, it's not even when you're not looking for them. It's when you're already working, when you're already being blessed. You Straight need to up. just feel and be blessed. Just oh, do God. your thing. Just right. understand, believe in yourself. And As give artists back, and people man. give back. And yeah. give back, man. That's and what you gives to you. Shorties, you know what I'm saying? You see these shorties out here, man. If you got a couple of dollars, man, hit them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't worry about what they're going to do with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just hit them. Feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, if you got it, nigga, the other Don't day, talk. I pulled over because it was hot as fuck. I had just got my, my AC fixed and shit. You know what I'm saying? And nice. and I'm riding and I see this lady and her kids, you know, man. I, I busted you in park in park in a in a in a um strip mall and crossed the street to get this lady some bread. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was man. just on my heart. I'm not like that all the time, you saying like yeah. that, but it was just on my heart. And I'm and I did I nigga, I gave her everything in my pocket. Feel me? Like and I ain't saying that to brag or nothing like that. I'm just saying, man, you need to, if if you are expecting blessings or you want shit to happen, you know what I'm saying? You got to be open. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 100%. You have to you have to be able to bless 100%. somebody. You know what I'm saying? You just can't be sitting back like I want to get blessed. Nah, nigga, you got to you got to bless somebody. And that's Give your last. To. 100%. You feel me? Like do that and see what happens. That just opens the way for more. Oh god. You know, like people don't understand that like Really, everything that you're speaking to is, to me, kind of just, it's like the emergence of the collaboratory nature of what's going on in Arizona. Straight up. It blesses everybody involved. Everybody when you, when involved. You, when, you, when you are working and networking and connecting, it's true when they say rising tides raise all ships, but Straight up. more than that, when you're adding water to that. <laughs> That's yeah. why I like collaborators. I like contributors and collaborators more than just fans. For real. I love fans. Don't get me wrong. I love everybody who's looking at what I do, but I want you to know you can do it too and work with me. Also, I want people to feel empowered. Empower, also, yep. if you're an artist, get out here, connect, work. That's what makes the market. And let's do better work to give it to the fans. Right. It's like almost, I'm just saying it in the Starbucks type of mentality. They right. love their employees right. so their employees can serve their customers better. Straight up. So it's the same way. That's why we're working and bringing things together here at Song Lab. Can I go ahead and get you to, again, shout out where people can find your music and just like get to know more about Smokey Dollar, okay. who you are, and, sure. and just, you know, also tell tell people about how you feel and being here for the first time at a Song Lab. Okay. Look, so look, Song Lab. It's amazing, fam. When I walked in here and got the tour, I was like, why haven't I been here? You know, this is for people like me, creators. If you're a creator and you're an artist, artist, you need to be down here, fam. You need to be down here. You need to be tapped in with these folks. With these folks. They're really doing something good down here. I feel like I'm special. It's a privilege for me to be down here, man. And this is not going to be my first time my last time it's my first time but it's not gonna be my last time y'all can catch me um at on ig smoky dollar ho s-m-o-k-i-e d-o-l-l-a h-e-a-u-x i got a lot of stuff popping off man my single is coming out in a few weeks called i've been popping we shooting a video tomorrow um it's gonna be a movie fam like for man, real for real I'm, I'm just i'm Lincoln, just happy man i'm just happy to be here and um it's a lot of good stuff going on. Awesome. For real. Thank you very much. And thank you for tuning in with us. My man. Song Lab. My man. Man. Awesome. Hey, bro. bro that was good. Bro. <laughs>